mice got in my car. Gotten on my TP pretty good. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna get a fresh roll here. Probably smart. Thermocell you been using? Bugs haven't been too bad. Just been using some Picardin lotion. That's been about it. Yeah, here, check this bad boy out. I guess you're gonna see it later, but just go down like this. Just like that. Don't have to take it out or anything? No. <laughs> and you crawl nice. up in there and you're you're set. And then they just pull it down and latch it shut, huh? Get the air out of it. You gotta push it all the way down. Go and make the harvest or what? We're gonna try. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. Covered. Oh boy, seed ticks galore, boy. I knew that was gonna be a mistake. What, the Crocs and shorts? Yeah, it really wasn't a good call. Your legs are moving. <laughs> I know. Need to reapply permethrin when we get back. I hate seed ticks worse than normal ticks. We met up with Warb last night, grabbed a shower, and headed to a new area. He's gonna be here in the next 30 minutes or so. So Ted and I are just gonna cruise around, check for pressure um, and then meet up with Warb and make a game plan for the evening. So we're hoping the deer are going to move a little earlier than they've been moving the last few days. Ted and I have been struggling pretty bad so figured a change of scenery might be good for us. Change of scenery and just a pile of seed ticks. Mm-hmm. We're going to go get you permethrin. Yeah, yeah, let's go take a bath in permethrin. is on. <laughs> You're just gonna go ahead and treat it all, huh? Oh yeah. A lot of ticks? Quite a few. Just yeah. covered in seed ticks. Said, oh, I can just wear my shorts and Crocs. No. Not a good idea. Go fast campers, huh? Yep. Brand new rig, boy. I don't, I don't know that my, that my speed has increased any, but it's a nice camper nonetheless. Your living quality has increased. Yep. All right, we're just getting ready to head out. I'm gonna go scout a couple places quick and then dive into a spot that I've killed a couple bucks in the past. Warb and Ted are gonna run around together and I think you guys are just gonna try to cover as much ground as you can and um, hopefully put something together. But hey, keep safe. We'll call you if we need help dragging. All right, I'll call you too. <laughs> Give me a call, all right? Yep. I guess we'll hunt. That time of year. Got any game bags? I got them in there. You want me to grab them? Yeah, grab a couple of them. Uh, been getting our butts kicked here in Missouri for the last few days. Well, I haven't. I've been sitting on my butt or fishing with the boys while Ted and Hayden have been hunting. And we ain't run into much. It's been real hot, stagnant weather, just kind of garbage. Finding some decent sign. Hayden just sent us a Snapchat. He found a big scrape a few minutes ago. And we're just spending most of the middle part of the day here scouting. I know y'all pro it probably gets old. It probably gets redundant. We do more scouting than we do hunting. And me and Ted are talking about not even going hunting tonight and just scouting. Trying to find spots to either hunt in the morning or tomorrow afternoon, whatever. We've got a bunch of west winds coming up here. So we want to find multiple spots or scout multiple areas that would set up well for westerly winds. So we're trying to accomplish that today. Bunch of acorns in the woods. We found a bunch sitting up underneath a red oak while ago. So and it's been so dry. I mean, you can look at this clover field out here. They've planted it in something, but it ain't come up because we ain't had no rain. So let's go down in here and see what we can find. You know what kind of plant that is, Ted? Nope. Me neither. So it's called a Arabian whistlegrass. Is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Is it actually? First kill of the day, Wood. We're on the board. Yeah, I'm gonna get him. Hey, hurry, hurry, he's back. There you go. Number two. Oh, we got another one. Sorry, come on. This is great. Well, we got a limit of horse flies, but not much. 
for deer sign back here. than the limited amount of deer sign that we followed in here. Hayden's already seen some deer. Good chance he runs into something tonight. I'd say we got one chance in five of seeing something, maybe. So you're saying there's a chance? There's a chance. our second morning here at this new spot the uh, location Hayden hunted last night was pretty good he ended up seeing several deer me and Ted we got skunked so this morning Ted went to film Hayden because he's trying to shoot a doe and I just got up early and have been walking around scouting and I ran into a couple does back there by the truck so I've been creeping along it and I looked out ahead of me here and I saw three does down here in the edge of this burn those does were down there just feeding and then they eventually trotted off back in there, but they had no idea I was here, so that might be a good spot for tonight. I'm not gonna scout any further in there because I don't want to booger any more deer, and there's blue jays going berserk down there in those woods. But I found a white oak on the way in here that was just raining acorns. I mean, big, mature white oak, big crown, had acorns everywhere up underneath it. And there was a little bit of deer droppings under. There was obviously deer had been feeding there. But I would really love to find a white oak like that back in here, a little bit further away from the road in a more secluded spot. I think that one would have probably a lot of deer up underneath it. They're probably also browsing on some of this green vegetation over here in this burn though too. This is a good spot. I mean, I'm on the access path, but there was no vehicle here this morning. It's the middle of the week. Might think about coming back in here and hunting tonight. Hopefully Hayden and Tater are having some luck. No deer in sight. Warp sound, sounds like Warp saw quite a few does where he was at this morning, but we're gonna pull down, maybe scout a little bit further to the south and then head back to the truck. I gotta run in town and grab some ice and send some emails and then we'll probably scout around the middle of the day and hopefully find some fresh shine. Oh yeah, I can hear it too. The porcupine quill got you, huh? I think that's what it is. Kind of a rough start to the day. Oh yeah. No deer sightings and now a flat tire. Here. I think it was from a quill. It's a really tiny hole though. You can definitely patch oh, that. I can see it. Hold on here. Now do it. Oh yeah, you can patch that. That's a tiny little hole. The struggles continue. Sorry, it's just GoPro footage. I didn't bring my main cam with me because I just planned on popping in here quick and looking for sign and popping back out. Also, didn't bring my bow. I probably could have got a shot at that doe if I had. Oh, she's still right there. I'll let her ease off and then I'm gonna pop back out of here. There was three deer right here when I walked up this morning. This is the first spot you saw deer. Yep, right here. In the edge of this burn. And they bunt, they spooked when I was a couple hundred yards back. Half of the deer I saw this morning, I spooked. <laughs> nice. But the ones that I didn't spook are the ones we're going to hunt. Yeah. Did you see her? Yeah. I could tell if it was a fawn or a doe. She got up right under that tree. Right there, she was bedded, maybe 30 yards off the path. There's a big white oak up there, big crown on it. Uh -huh. There's freaking acorns everywhere underneath that thing. And there was a deer laying underneath it this morning. 
half tempted to sit right there because there's so many acorns but I just didn't see I ain't seeing a ton of feeding sign they're just as like a few droppings here or there yeah I mean that's good to see that there's one there after this morning I guess must not be many people walking this trail I guess not it's either that or hadn't met anybody in here lately let's go up here and look under this tree once that's a big red oak or a black oak and they're everywhere under it hundreds of them for the evening hunt we came into the spot that had been logged within the last couple weeks talked to a logger and he said there's a bunch of deer in here right now so i popped in and quick scouted it and sure enough this path is loaded with tracks and acorns and because it's bare dirt i think i think it's way easier for the deer to find the acorns and that's why they're feeding in it one of the other logged paths that i scouted i ended up having a doe and fawn come right by me at 20 yards but i didn't have my bow with me decided to come to this specific area instead because I think it sets up really well for a bunch of deer, even a big buck, to be bedded down on this creek bed below me. My hope is that they'll come out of that creek bed and work up to this top to feed on acorns for the evening. Warb and Ted are where Warb scouted this morning and saw a bunch of does, so it seems like both of us are in pretty good spots this evening. We're on a doe mission. It's about 4.30, got three hours or so left of daylight, so I chose this specific tree because multiple paths these log paths come together here. There's a little bit of an opening behind me. I hear deer moving down there. saw the second one coming down the hill. The second one popped out on the trail, walked to like 10 yards away. He just kind of sat and like jogged around me. When I fed an acorns right behind me, him jogging spooked that first one. The first one ran off and he just fed on acorns for a little bit calmly and then worked off in the same direction that other buck went. It's only five o'clock. Still got over two hours left of daylight. So it makes me feel really good about this spot. I thought that first one was a doe. I was thinking I was gonna get a shot. I'm not going to be very picky this year on bucks, but that one's a little too small. Cool encounter though. It's fun having deer in range. I think that's the first, no, it's not the first deer in range. That's the first deer I could have shot, really. So, hopeful for the rest of the night. Me and Ted are set up here where I saw those does this morning. I filmed them walking through this burn right down here below me they were trotting around scampering around or whatever but they were right here 
in this little hole. And they went in between the tree that we're in and that oak tree out there about 25 yards away. So if they come back up through here tonight, they'll be right here in the wheelhouse for us. We were hemming and hawing around for a while up there at the truck, trying to figure out if Ted was going to go film Hayden or film me. Every time Ted goes and films somebody, they don't see any deer. And then the other person that goes by themselves sees a pile of deer. Last night, Hayden could have shot a doe, but Ted was with me, and we didn't see crap. And this morning, Ted goes with Hayden to the same spot in the hopes to get the doe down, and y'all didn't see nothing this morning, right? That's right. Meanwhile, I saw like 10, 15 deer this morning just walking around on these paths. No Ted. Now, here we are once again, Ted and I for the afternoon hunt. And Hayden just texted us and said he had two little bucks walk right underneath him. Seems like maybe I ought to just... Seems like you ought to just hang it up. And just up and leave, huh? Get out of y'all's way. <laughs> nah, we're gonna see something tonight. I just hope it's not blowing at us downwind behind you. They love this burn though. All them deer I saw this morning were in this burn. I don't know if they're eating the, like the little green grass that's growing up in it or if they can just get to the acorns easier because it's nice and clean. So I would think we're gonna see something. Got some serious gray hairs going on. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> There's a patch on your right cheek. No, it's in your beard. Right there. Be all white before you know it. It's coming for you one day. And you'll be like, what the heck is that? And there'll be two of them, and then there'll be 10 of them, and then there'll be 40 of them, and then there'll be 300 of them. You got a lot on your chin, too. I know. My God. Yeah. You're gonna have to start dying it soon. That's what owning your own business will do to you.
Ted's at his desk here. Just kind of perched up there like a turkey. <laughs> I'm roosted. <laughs> Almost for the night. I just gotta get this footage captured and then I'll roost horizontally in there. So pretty good night, Hayden. Pretty good night. Much better than the last few days. Saw a lot of deer. Some bucks, that was good. I think you've got a good plan for tomorrow. I guess you don't really know where you're going yet, but we know of a couple spots with a bunch of deer, so. I left my saddle stuff in the tree, so I'm going right back to the same spot. I'm assuming if I saw four smaller bucks, there's probably a big one in there, or a doe or two to shoot, so. I'm gonna go back in there. We're kind of passing Ted back and forth. We don't know who he's gonna go with. Or... Unreal. I'm trying to just keep him away from me, because every time he's not with me, I see deer. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen a deer a single time together, hardly. <laughs> me and Warp saw some deer tonight, so. Yeah, that's good. Maybe it's just the combination that's the bad mm -hmm. thing. I think it is. <laughs> Finally got a little bit cooler today. Yeah. Not good. much, only like a five, six degree temperature difference, but. Is tomorrow the coldest? Colder tomorrow than Tomorrow morning, morning is the coldest morning. Yeah. Sure they'll be up feeding on acorns, so. That's what we've been targeting the last few days has been acorns. Just Ted and I started kind of focusing around crop fields and then moved to a place that has predominantly just oak forest and that's been, seems to be working a little bit better. They're a little more likely to move during daylight to feed on acorns than they are to come out to crop fields when it's higher temps like this. So hopefully we have a good day tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day. I think so. We're gonna have some meat on ice by this time tomorrow. And that'd be great. That'd be grand. Let's do that. Good night, everybody. See you on the next one.